it, it, anyway, you, sorry. Do you know? Do, I just, I mean, I'm listening to you. I, I do you think too that one of the to give the devil his due. One of the the psyop, you talked about a psyop, that's, and there's been huge psyops have been been played against the people for the longest time, and we've been given the wrong idea about what happy actually is, or we've been sold happy as the only thing worth having, and and we've furthermore been told that happy is to be achieved by having whatever loads of money, loads of stuff. So, I've just actually been watching this program, and as you can see, it's nearly the end of it. There's probably about, um, I don't know, probably about five minutes left. Really, really decent. Actually, you know, sometimes I get a little bit um, fed up, a little bit watching Russell Brand and Neil Oliver and, you know, Dr. Campbell and Jeff Bice Cars and all these other channels. I don't watch any of them every single episode anymore, or verbs, because there's just too many channels, but... I just kind of like go between them all and but I mean the thing is that you know the actual all these channels themselves are doing well and all the campaigns I mean even like you know all these different campaigns that might even be in opposition to each other they're all rolling along and doing something you know whether it's stop you les or um Exit Rebellion or Just Stop Oil or Big Brother Watch or whatever, they're actually, you know, even though they're fighting for a cause or in an opposition, they are, they, they're existing and they're um, making progress, you know, they're, they're actually, you know, that that's what they're doing and they're doing it, you know, um, rather than, you know, not everyone is doing something, they're kind of... Um, not being able to do things that they want to do because of what's happening, because of the situation, you know. Um, but actually, this program is actually, you know, it's probably this is probably um, one of the best Neil Oliver episodes there's been for quite a while. Actually, I've really been enjoying it. Ne nearly at the end of it, this this, this Ivor Cummings guest is absolutely brilliant, and I do recognise him. I think I've seen him. <clears throat> one or two times before in a few other videos, but I don't like um, know of his channel or f you know follow him or anything like that. Um, so I kind of enjoyed it, but they just got onto this subject now of you know what it is to be happy, and you know the establishment say you will own nothing and be happy. That I think what that means is that you won't have anything of your own, or if they say you will own nothing and be happy. It means that there will be nothing of yours, though, surely. It means there will, there will be nothing that is yours or you identify as yours. I mean, if you think of that, that means your entire history as well as yourself, you know. And I, I just made a long talk because I'm really annoyed with Starmer's labour, with their obsession with growth and building. You know, when Neil Oliver has just said, you know, what is it to be happy... And then the government claim you're going to be happy. There are different ways to be happy. You know, they, they, they could put everyone on a heroin drip or they could, you know, and plug you into the metaverse. There are different ways to make the creature, the human, the um, being, the entity happy, um, whether it's by chemicals or, you know, um, stick some headphones on and let them listen to music or whatever. But I think that's the thing. You know, for me, what I, you know, what, when, you know, if you think of like, the thing is, right, take movies, let's use movies for an example, because this is where, this is where I think the irony is in it, and the kind of like, um, Catch-22, the, the kind of like false flag, if you know what I mean, and that is that they have these movies, right, and in the movies, right, you might have like, you know, or, or like an advertisement. You might have like, you know, like the, um, you know, like the Levi's guy, you know, and he goes into the laundrette, you know, and, and he takes his trousers off and then he puts them in the washing machine and then he's sat there with his legs closed. Now, that is actually what they said earlier 
about you know like Tucker Carlson went over to America, uh, Australia, and he was saying you know well you know I didn't, I'm just checking out the parties here. I don't know much about them. Well, there's one called Labour, but none of them actually work. None of them are actually labourers. They're all like politicians or you know um, still corporate people. They're not actually like a, a cobbler or um, you know a builder or a, a, a fence maker or a roofer or anything like that. Yeah, they don't even do labour. They don't do any labour, you know? They. They have this. They have these advertisements, right? And what they do is they make a, a very normal situation or normal thing like a laundrette. Go, you know, you don't. If you go to a laundrette, it suggests that you don't own a washing machine, right? If you if you if you don't own a washing machine or have a kitchen, then you know you go to a laundrette. If, if you don't have your own washing, if you're so poor, you don't have a washing machine, right? But yet they paint this picture, this romanticism, right? That you're in the laundry and the guy goes in and you know he's you know like um, you know fit, chunky, athletic or whatever, um, and then he sits down and then there's you know like the 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 they have this atmosphere there, you know, with, with, with the you know the the women looking at him or whatever, and they make it all kind of magical. Now that's a moment, right? That is a perfectly working class um place it's not a rich place it's not a wealthy place it's a place where working class or poor people go and they make it kind of magical they make it like um you know it, it, it it's the you know it, it, you could go to you know like uh, sunset on new key beach you know like the sunset on Newquay Beach, you know, you could go watch the sun go down at Newquay, you know, you're, you're at the end of the bottom of the country or, you know, close to Land's End or whatever, you know, uh, and, and you could have, you know, that. Or you could have, whether it's walking down a country lane, you know, with, with um, going over a style or, or, or you know, with, with whatever. They're all perfectly normal um situations or it could even be in the city you know or you know you, you've got um like in a blues brothers film you know in the blues they do this with dancing and musicals they started doing it on doctor who they've started turning doctor who into a musical D don't think doctor who was ever a musical right and maybe some of the long dedicated fans think they've spoiled the show or ruined it and they've done these musical dances it's kind of a bit funny in comedy they, they used to do it in, like, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. You know, you've got the old town and the old peasants and the straw everywhere, but it's a child catcher. But they make it exciting. You know, it, it suggests that happiness or beauty or art or a moment, you know, you could be a child and you... Memories, memories. You know, you went on holiday with your grandparents and you were you know, in the countryside, you know, and, and even just going to, like, an old phone box and calling home at that old phone box with character, you know, next to a field, or, or it, it could be anything, you know, it, 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 or, or even, let's, I'm trying to think of more examples for people who have had a very, very hard upbringing or been extremely poor, you know, um, even playing on the, you know, pavement football, you're all right, kicking, you're right. So they have that. They, they've got that. They've got like, you know, pushing the bike up the hill. But Gold Hill, you know, it is more of a, um, it, it's affluent. It, 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 it's even though there are weavers' cottages there, it, it's more wealthy, I suppose, down south. But I'm trying to think of something maybe like Manchester or Bolton. I mean, how could you think of it for Angela, uh, Angela Rayner? You know, Ashton Underline, Mills, Pitts, Houses, family, you know, um, you know, it's hardly Mary Poppins, is it? You know, I mean, uh, Fagin, you know, Fagin, I mean, the, the even dress movie sets up to look more poor or more, um, you know, straw and, you know, spillage, spoilage everywhere. You know, even if it's singing in the rain, okay, singing in the rain. I mean, it's, you know, it's a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. You're making happiness. Uh, I mean, to be honest, now I'm actually finding it that I want it to rain because I like the sound of it, you know, and I like you know, the wet. It is different to, to, to being, you know, too hot, you know. 
Um, there's a song that goes, you know, I'm only happy when it rains. Um, I'm starting to feel a little bit like that now. It distracts my mind from all of the bad things, at least when, when it's raining. It's something else to focus on or take your mind off it, you know. Um, but the New Labour, Starmer, there's no value. It, it, and this is what I'm getting on to when they say, you know, they'll, you'll learn nothing and be happy. And what I think what Neil Oliver means with these new... Um, corporate why would why would you want to be happy in a laundrette even if you um doesn't i mean there's some tiktok guys you know some really fat tiktok guys who are um you know just being humorous and trying to make um fun out of themselves and and they're doing little dance skits or whatever um i did i, I spoke about it in a video you know because this is all like um uniform in you know synchronized dance moves or whatever and everyone's just like chinese social point system you know like moving like some sort of terracotta army but it, they they're, they're using it for humor though they're having a laugh and, and they're entertaining themselves and they're doing a little dance or a little skit or whatever and it, it's making happy but it, it all this even in the adverts and even in the movies you go to the movie to sit down and pay money and buy hot dogs and pay corporate money over to watch someone having a valuable artistic or sentimental moment like they might be sat with leaves blowing past them or whatever, anything, right? You know, it could be um, it could be in the city or it could be in the country, you know, wherever, wherever, just this moment, right? But you're watching on a, watching someone else have a moment doing something that literally in real life would be quite um, you know cheap or cost nothing, right? So you know just to you know um, have, have a magical moment, you know anywhere urban or or suburban, um, but you're going to pay money, handing money over. And then buying their products and stuff to sit there to watch an actor act it out at a moment that if you did that moment in real life, it would cost nothing, right? You can get money out, uh, you, you can get happiness out of it, right? But to get, to watch that person on the screen have a cheap and relatively costless magical moment of sentiment and feeling... You're having to pay money over to the corporate entities and buy their food crap and then go sit there and just watch it, right? And that's not even getting onto action movies, you know, when one man saves everyone, right? But the truth is, those moments, even when you walk out the corner shop with a bag of sweets, you know, and then you're walking down the road and the wind blows through your hair and the sun's going down, that is magical, but you didn't necessarily need the sweets, but at least... You know, he all contributed to that moment, you know, even when you're walking under some trees and, and the leaves are there in autumn. This is the stuff of Christmas cards. The front cover of a Christmas card um, might be snows free, right? It snows. You're walking through the village on, on um, council grass. You know, you don't have to own an, an estate anywhere. You know, a bit of council grass, you know, shared council grass, build a snowman. And, you know, you're sticking stones in its tummy, um, you know, making it um, into a, a snowman, right? And that uh, makes you happy. It's a magical moment, you know. But that old Christmas card cover... Singing carols, going round door to door, the glow of the candles, you know, the, the the feeling of you know Santa's turning up. Whether or not you're a poor family or a rich family, you still get that feeling. Or you know, two fairy, all this stuff. That's you know, they were still selling candies the whole time through, but it, at least it, 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 it aspired to it. What I've noticed is, I think a lot of that Christmas card cover stuff is gone now. And it's all kind of like um, in Minions or, you know, it, 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 the, the the characters, the, the McDonald's, the Ronald McDonald, the Hamburglar, the Minions, the Grinch, the all the newer caricatures. You see, he was using that Fantasia, wasn't he? He was using that Fantasia example, Mickey Mouse, right? I think that 
all of the artwork and the Christmas cards and the posters and the TV adverts, this I think I've kind of solved it right. They were all... You pay money over to the corporate people, you give them your money and you buy the products, but all the products were this... I think it's like, you know, Roy F. Kennedy Jr. in The American Dream. I think it's like at least... It was pretending to be the thing that was cheap or cost nothing, even if you're in a laundrette that's for people who are poor who can't afford a washing machine. At least it was, um, you know, fantasizing about, you know, if you weren't overweight or if you, um, you know, it's not even fantasizing. I mean, let's get this straight. They're not fantasizing about you having your own washing machine. That's for sure. They're fantasizing about um, it doesn't matter that you don't have a washing machine because you could be, you know, or if you're not attractive, um, but, you know, you can have a magic moment in a laundrette. I mean, you could you could have a laundry advert when you just you know have a have a dance. I mean, it could be. I mean, now they have on the national lottery. They've got um, ethnical mixed people um, having a moment in a chip shop. You know, in in a in in a fish and chip shop somewhere in it could be you know London. They, they've got an inkling of that left. I think they, they they're just holding on to it with the skin of their teeth. Um, you know, a, a magic moment in a chip shop, but only because they've won the lottery, not because, you know, they're, they're in a chip shop. You see, back in the day, right, they wouldn't need to win the lottery in the chip shop. You wouldn't need to have to won the lottery to be in the fish and chip shop. You, you, just being in there, they could make some sort of, you know, sketch out of being it, you know, like um, open all hours or whatever. And I think that's the thing about television and comedy anyway. But now it's kind of like... It, it it's why you know it it now the 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 I think their own um, caricatures their own things have pushed the the real things in life that are free say you know the small the the normal moments in life that are free but they can be happy but they're free they were making money out of those moments. But saying, you know, you can have them, uh, and they were kind of like, you know, creating the, you know, like, you know, Point Break or whatever, you know, sat on the beach and, and all this sort of stuff. All that movie stuff, really. I mean, any 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 clip from any movie at any given moment, you know. But now, all I think all that's kind of pushed off the, it's pushed out of there. And now it's just all about the, the caricatures have taken over the, you know, um, it, 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 the muscled out all the normal real life things, and it's it's all about the the CGI itself or the kind of like, you know, like all these high speed, um, mad um, computer game graphic, you know, super fast afterburner kind of, you know stuff maybe we had all that coming in with the 8-bit games but i think the thing with the computer games is this right staying with that theme that i'm with at the moment so you see if you watch the terminator if you think of john connor right you got john connor what's magic about it it's just a kid it's just a kid going down an arcade with his mate right because they're poor Right, and he's putting ten p coins in, you know, not you know two pound coins like ten p's or whatever into the gate. He's playing the game, but the magic of it is that he's playing the computer game, and he's at the arcade, and there's a noise in the background, you know, like on the Lost Boys when they go to the comic store. Do -do -do, do -do -do. All the sounds, all the feelings, all the vibes. It it it, it it's you know. It's a it's a cheap experience in life, made to be valuable and magical. I think that's gone now. It's muscled out, and now it's all about these like imposing kind of like you know, um, cap, you know, maybe the comic book, but at least you know with the comic book, there was there was part of the comic book that. I don't know. Maybe you're holding, you're holding the paper pages, and you're at the seaside, and you can, you know, smell the sea, and there's a sound of seagulls, and your little kid sat there with a comic book that he paid five p for, and that's magical. That's cheap, right? But it's valuable. And some would would 
pay money, corporate people who have got money will pay money to go to the cinema. Angela Rayner, who's had it tougher than her inst out fucking, um, you know, you no, know, she's, you know, she's had it tougher than her inst out car lever, that woman, you know, rinse, rinse, rinse. You know, squeeze it, rinse it, you know, rinse her through the fucking car leather wash. I ain't had it so hard, you know, I ain't had it so hard, blossoming like, you know, berries. Got 1,500 kids, but I've had it hard and tough, you know. But the you go to a, a, a cinema, Angela Rayner, poor Angela Rayner, with no money in the dirt and grime of Ashton Underline, Goes to the, oh, we're going to the movies now, children. Come on, line up. Follow Mother mother Hen. All the children, now we've got money. We're rich. Here, there's two pounds. Angela Rayner, here, two pound for this child. Two pound for that child. It's like fucking Fagin. Two pound for that child. Now we can afford to go to the cinema. And now we're sat here, Angela Rayner, watching a kiss. Kez, come on, Kez, get the meat. Oh, I'm really living life posh now in the posh cinema. We've all got hot dogs. Now we can watch Kez swing, swing his meat round on end of his string. Come on, Kez, get the meat. You know, no tough Kez has had it hard. This is it. And, and this is the problem with new labour. It's not. New Labour, you know, it's so funny, you know, that now you're rich, you can take your entire family to go watch Kez swing his mate round on a bit of string, but but they don't watch that now because it, it's, they've got all of the mobile phones, you know, and all the flashing, dancing Lights, you know, you don't even have to go to the arcade, you know, and put money in and, you know, talk to the um, young girl behind the counter and have the doodly 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 little, little computer game noises and, you know, the, the, the guy walks past with a bag of chips. This is life. This is life. The thing with Starmer is it, 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 it's... They, they, they all want this, you know, huge kitchen with, you know, full... Angela Rayner, massive kitchen, massive fridge, you know. Look, my fridge is biggest. Now I've got more than a fridge. I've got a pantry, you know. Forget fridges, you know. Can fit all the family in that fridge and feed them in it, you know. Stay over, you know. Stay sleep in my fridge, you know. And you never, no one doesn't matter if it's snowing outside. Look, it's Christmas. Guess go to William Hill Bucky's and put some money on. You know, anyone would think it was snowing outside. No! You, you know, it's not snowing for Christmas, but in Angela Rayner's fridge, in a pantry, it's snowing. You know, look, you bring the whole family into the to, to the freezer. It's that big Angela Rayner's freezer. It always snows at Christmas in Angela's house, you know, in a walk-in fridge or whatever. This is it with the new Labour. It, 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 you know... Uh, it's not the walking down the you know pavement that's a little bit you know um, crooked you know and um, within the autumn leaves you know to the park because the bulldozers the park built an old people's home and um, you know now it's you know boom 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 new kids on the block you know and it's. It, 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 this corporate art and all the houses they're building are, are not, there's no imagination. I mean, at least in the Paperboy game, when they used to play Paperboy, it, 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 was, it was kind of funny and joke that you're going past all the, you know, perfect houses because houses weren't perfect. So when you play the computer game, it was kind of like, oh, look, they're all like, you know, the houses are all, all identical going down the road or whatever, you know? That was always peculiar about it. it, it it's, it, 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 I don't know what Starmer's, um, it, 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 it's, Maybe they were, were, maybe that was, maybe they were conning people into thinking that, you know, cheap things are good. But now Labour definitely does not think cheap things are good. It thinks that they're crap. 
and that people, you know, want fancy things. It, but but they weren't cheap. Um, it, 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 it's... I don't think they like themselves. I don't think that actually, you know, it, 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 there's nothing wrong with normal. But I, I think Labour think there is something wrong with it, you know? It, 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 they, it, and to an extent where everything they're pitching to them now is you know you know your crap and your stuff's crap so you know you might as you know you need you need to be better or you you know it almost like um um in america you know vice president um she, she was like going um she's like you know what can be what was and what can be or whatever you know but but some of these things that can be are no they're not um i haven't once i don't think um seen or looked at one of these brand new starmer building estate house things and like thought this is great um you know i have some memories here but you know, if I go to somewhere, you know, what what what's got even even poor areas, you know, there's a tree here or something there. The the value in it um is, you know, there's values in things that I don't think that the, the whenever there's whenever there's no price tag on it, what what is a coin or a piece of money, they, they don't seem to value it. I mean, at least, you know, is it different types of people who just can't see the value in it? I think it's like the Emperor's New Clothes, in a way. I mean, if you look at... Um, I'm trying to think what that guy's called. Um, I mean, look look at... Um, if you look at... Um, oh, it was Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. You know, that Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen guy. You know, like he's a designer um, on TV, you know. Um, of all these different colours and stuff like that, you know, uh, some some people, you know, even though he's it, it, kind of, you know, a, a person who you would put, put more at the, you know, um, affluent high end of the social spectrum, you know, it, it, you can still, you know, see beauty and art in, in, in things and colours. There's no beauty and art in a lot of the corporate stuff that's coming out at McDonald's and this plastic world um drive through plastic world design you know sometimes you wonder which people it is you know you know is it, is it the football is it the sports people you know because they like um you know uniformity you know football pitch but but even with the football pitch you know you've got this kind of People, you know, people, people like going to football. I don't, I've never liked going to football, but, you know, I know that those people who go to football have magic moments there. You know, they like the cheering of the crowds and all these things, but it's never enough, is it? You know, old, the word, what it's like old Trafford. I mean, it's meant to, when you say the word old Trafford, it's meant to, sound like history or something, you know, when they play soccer and the kids come in um, covered in mud, you know, or whatever. Uh, all the, you know, they used to have that, those and advertisements as well. I think all that is gone now. It's all like, well, you know, you know, you could get the new Nintendo 64 or the new headphones or the new... It, 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 it's... It, it, it's... The, the prod... The... The products had the experience on them or, or sold the moment that really was free, right? So you handed money over to look at or enjoy a moment or a thing that actually should cost nothing and might not even be posh. I mean, I mean th those moments in those Levi um, adverts, for example, um, they're not, it's not Blenheim Palace, is it? But then, but then you do end up with Be Buck Beck David Beckham. You see Beckingham Palace. You see 
One minute, you see, and then when you see Beckham, he, he still wears the kind of, you know, he's got the hat and stuff and he's like, you know, fashionably working class. Well, you know, that, that, that's one thing with Corbyn, fashionably working class. But I don't think that the new Labour are fashionably working class. I think they're now wanting to be fashionably corporate, you know, fashionably or two fashionably, oppo fashionably, you know, the next electric car that's coming in. No, none of this kind of like, uh, mommy cars broke down. You see, that's another thing. You might have a postcard, right? You want to buy something with a picture of um, someone in an old mechanic shop, you know, like Doc Brown in Back to the Future, you know, um, you know, blacksmith, you know, or whatever, um, fixing the car with his lads underneath. So, you know, even the Christmas card might have, you know, um, a, a lad um, with his dad, you know, the car might have broke down even, you know. But, oh, no, it's not politically correct now for Starmer. No, the weather man. Keir Starmer. No, we, no, you're in a Christmas card with the electric car that has set on fire and burned down the whole town, you know. Um, <laughs> just, you know... It, no, no, no more of that, you know, bre breaking down and, 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 you know, memories and magical moments at the side of the road, you know, even even if we're having to wait for the, you know, the recovery thing and walk to the phone box, you know, people pay money for this, you know, none of that now, you know, the car's blowing up and taking the town out with it, you know, taking everyone out with it, you know, you don't even survive, you know, the whole thing's blowing up, never mind having a crash, um, it, it, but it, it's... It's all about things now. I do. I, the, the things were more about people and feelings, even all the Christmas stuff. Now I think that it's, it's just more about the thing, you know. And I know that you watch things on your mobile phone, like we can watch loads and loads of videos and stuff like that. But I just it. When they're selling all the mobile phones and things like that now and the TVs and all the stuff that, you know, Labour's purporting, you know, all these housing estates and drive throughs and all these things, it, it's kind of... What it's saying is, you know, that, that, that postcard seems crap, you know. It's, you know, why would you want to roll a snowman, you know, and, and um, you know, it could have bird flu in it or something like that. It, it, it's it, it, not nothing that is free. At least they were making things that they were free for free, and then making you buy, pay money for them to enjoy them, or or or, or, or remember them. Now it, it, I feel like they've pushed all that out of it, and it is actually all about the you know it, 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 the 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 thing for the sake of the thing, you know. The, the, the actual thing for the sake of the thing. Maybe part of it's because, you know, we were younger then and, and we live more in his imagination and it's how you merge with these things. Maybe we see things differently, but I think it definitely has changed. Um, it, it, it's... It, 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 going through McDonald's... You know, Starmer wants you to be happy because you are being served. You no, know, literally, are you being served? No, you don't have to ask me if I'm being served. You know, yeah, no, I am. You know, are you being served? You know, no, I am being served now. You know, this kind of, um, you know, it, 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 oh, it, the inconvenience sometimes, you know, of having to walk to a phone box to make a call, you know, now, the only inconvenience you get is having to watch all the fast adverts, and they're not even good ones. They're not even decent adverts. Um, you know, they're so bad that and annoying that you want to skip them, you know, and get rid of them. Um, you know, there's nothing more frustrating, uh, you know. Um, you know, he, 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 and I think that's shown with our patience because people demand service and now demand things gratification instantly you know i want to watch this or that and maybe i should pay and go ad free but you know the thing is that if i did pay and go ad free i wouldn't know that they were torturing people with you know these stupid um 
adverts and making people wait, you know? Um, all because, you know, the company that does YouTube is not owned by the government and is pushing crap adverts on us, you know, unlike the BBC used to do. Um, it, 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 it's... It definitely, I definitely think that, you know, all of the things that they're made now is, I mean, if you think about it, you know, going to the Labour Working Men's Club, being there, you know, you, you seeing the, 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 the old lads bowling, I don't even like those um, Labour clubs because they built them all like these square things, um, which don't have really any taste, but, you know, all the smoke in the room or, you know, people playing, playing pool balls, all these things, maybe it's part of growing up and being less, less as a child, you know, um, it, 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 it's, there's some, there's, the more and more the corporate, I think the corporate now own, all of the companies, so you haven't, you haven't, it's like Jeff Bezos, you know, there aren't, Jeff Bezos is just, you know, um, you order things online and you get it delivered, don't you, you know, you order it on the internet, you scroll through your mobile phone, you you order it, you look, and you get it delivered, and then someone turns up and knocks at the door, so you're not even going to the shops and having the experience of going to the shop, because they don't want you to travel, so you don't even... Um, even if you miss the bus, you know, and have to walk back, you know, at least that is a, a film scene right there, you know. It, it, you don't even do that anymore with, with this. You just, it's all, you notice it's all about the phone and the images on the phone and then scrolling and I want this thing and you buy the phone, you hand the money over and then you pay the money for the thing and then you get the thing through your door, right? And then you open the box and, oh, I've got a thing now. Um, you know, I've got the, um, you know, super glue that I need to fix the, you know, thing that I broke and they've just made money out of me. But, you know, what experience was in that? Well, you're just scrolling on a mobile phone and 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 it, it, it's, there's no, oh, I went into town and then, you know, we had to go on the bus and there was this, you know, um, you know, woman with a pram making some noise and blah, blah, blah. You know, and I, 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 Angela Rayner, can't, she doesn't want to... This is the thing. Labour don't like themselves. They don't. Labour don't like themselves. They don't like themselves and they don't like... Um, it, 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 they, they don't like the laundrette. They don't want laundrettes to exist. They shut down. One minute, you know, they're watching on the advert or paying money to watch it in a movie. Angela Rayner watching Levi's at Laundrette H. Right, good, in it? Cost me £2 each to take my kids in here. Nah, I'm not going to Laundrette. i got a walk-in washing machine. It's like, you know, like Water Valley. Jump inside my washing machine. Have my friends round for tea. Woo, spin me round, right round, baby, right round. You know, come into my pantry. It's massive. It's Christmas. Build a snowman. Go large. Big, you know. It's in my own house. I don't have to go out. Don't have to go downtown, you know. I don't have to go shopping and drag the heavy shopping bags around like the front of the Christmas card, you know, the woman dredging through the snow. Just scroll down my screen, click, 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 tick, tick, tick. Now I'm rich, I've got money, you know. The, the, the And I think that is part of the anti-human part of it. it. I think that's part of the anti-human part of it because eventually... I mean, if you, you know, I mean, even if, you know, they turn up and, you know, bring your stuff online, then it's, you open it in the box in your house. I don't even think New Labour want people to go out of the house, you know, with all these 15-minute cities and so forth, for travel. You know, wh why go anywhere when you can watch it on YouTube? I think that is the anti-human aspect of it definitely creeping in, but... For sure, we don't have carol singers anymore. No one, because no one, you know, we don't st talk to strange people, don't take photographs of children. Can you imagine, um, you know, now? Um, it, it, I've never had carol singers round um, for, for, 
God knows what, or even trick or treat, you know, and nothing like that. It, it, it's that was socialist human. It, 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 it's you know the, the the closest kick I got to carol singing is when um, uh, Charles's um, coronation do or whatever when they were singing wipe, uh, wipe that vagina Camilla. You know that was funny. Um, you know, and that was on TV. That wasn't even real. On, on going there, you know, um, he, 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 candles, he, even candles. I mean, now when the electricity goes off, it, it's kind of a treat because you get to have to go into the cupboards and, and find candles. Oh, are we Angela Rayner? Can't afford candles. Got to put ten two p in the electricity meter. You know, listen to the sound of the, the tempe going in and then falling into the empty box at the bottom. Ching! Oh, power's on now. Power's on. Power's come on now. Power in the mill. Pedal. Pedal to the metal. You know, power's on now. Turn the trundle wheel, Angela. Turn the trundle wheel. Labour. Power's on now. I'm powering this trundle wheel, you know. I'm powering this factory. I'm making these. I'm making these widgets. Power's on now. I'm making these widgets. Gee, the, the money fall ching into the meter. You know, th this is it. Um, it, it, it's. It, 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 the, the, I don't think they like life. You know. It, 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 it's they don't like what well, they, they built it the, the amount of redevelopment that Labour have done over and over rewriting themselves because they never liked anything they've built they never because it's not you know own nothing and be happy it, it won't, it's never there everything that Labour builds is not their own never mind Tucker Carlson telling going to Labour and none of, none of you are workers um, because they do, they're building everything for the corporate. Um, you know, uh, they're doing everything for the Tories. They never did anything for themselves. They never built themselves um, what they wanted. Well, well, they, they reckon, you know, they reckon, you know, but 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 they kind of like it because they they want to redo it. Although what they're actually redoing is just redo it. They're, they're rebuilding the Tories' factories for them. You know, the the it, it's it, there's something. Labour aren't intelligent. There's, there's something wrong with them. The whole thing is wrong. It's a con. And at the end of the day, it's, it's just like it's, it's a football team. And, um, you know, it's the worst football team ever because they keep swapping shirts with each other. Um, you know, well, they, don't, they don't believe in anything. They don't actually believe in anything. And then, you know, they've got Coronation Street, you know, do, 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 do. You know, you'd have thought that if they if, if they hated working class life that much, that they wouldn't even watch Coronation Street. How can you watch it every week, right? If you can't stand being working class, and and <laughs> it's like, you know, I mean, what are they going? What is Starmer going to do um, after he's completely redeveloped every terrace row in England? Um, what what will Coronation Street be then? It will have to turn into Brookside Close, you know, or Brookside Closer. It, it, I don't think they like anything. There's something seriously wrong with them. Um, and and the. the